Hey guys, it's Ellen. Welcome to my channel. Um, today, I think I need to try and redeem the sketchbook that I bought. So I bought this speedball sketchbook um, on Amazon. People have been raving about it on some of the sites that I saw or some other artists that used it. I figured, okay, let me try it because I'm looking for a really good watercolor sketchbook. Now, it wasn't cheap on Amazon. It was like $25, but even on other sites, they were more expensive. So I thought I'd give it a try, and I started to use it on my first, on my live for July for my super patrons, and I painted this uh, little scene from a photograph I took in Saratoga Springs Farmer's Market. But I didn't like the fact that right in this section down here, there's a lot of resist going on. So the paint wasn't going on the paper. It wasn't, you know, like when you use a crayon and the watercolor resists, the paint resists, it's similar to that, right? So for this tutorial, I'm gonna try and see if I can redeem it. Um, I go over this um, painting of Little Lighthouse in Newport, Rhode Island. Um, it's the mini lighthouse by Castle Hill Inn. And so I'll talk about this sketchbook again and see if it, see if it redeemed itself. You want to take a look at this video and see if maybe it's okay. I don't know. We'll see. So if you have any questions, leave them in the comment section. Also, if you have a Patreon, you get to download the photograph I took of the little mini um, lighthouse at Castle Hill Inn. It's not the best photograph because I did it on my phone because we were out on a cruise uh, when I took the photograph, but it's good enough that you can actually look at it to see, you know, if you want to follow along and paint with it. If you don't know what Patreon is, it's just a place people go where they support my channel and I have traceables, reference photos, exclusive tutorials on Thursdays, a live stream in the top tier once a month, plus a download from me. And uh, yeah, it's just a place people go and support my channel, which I appreciate so much. So let's see if this sketchbook can redeem itself. Hmm. Let's check it out. All right, guys. So I have this sketchbook. I'm going to give it another chance. I don't know why, but maybe it deserves it. Um, it's not cheap. So I got the Speedball watercolor sketchbook on Amazon. Actually, it was the cheapest place I found it. It was like 25 um, plus tax. And I think other places wanted more money. And I just, I just did a tutorial on this. Well, not a tutorial, excuse me, a live on my Patreon. And I painted picture from my Saratoga Springs Market and I found that this maybe is a resist on the paper because maybe I touched it but I don't know it wasn't painting here it was resisting here which I was not happy about so I'm gonna give it another chance and let's see what happens since I gave it kind of a nasty little I don't like you <laughs> on my Instagram this is a picture of um, that I took oh, I was out on a sailboat cruise for my husband's birthday and out in Newport, and this is the picture of the mini lighthouse. It's um, by Castle Hill Island. I mean Castle Hill Inn. And so you can go to Castle Hill Inn up in here and have a cocktail or eat dinner. You can even stay there. Um, it's really booked up in the summer, but just go. It's not booked for having a drink out in the lawn, which is really nice. And you can actually walk over to this little um, lighthouse. It's kind of cute. So I figured let's let's give this sketchbook another try. Let's put the little lighthouse in here and see what happens. I'm using actually a, um, an expensive, uh, you know, pencil. This is the, what do you call it, pencil? So I'm going to be using mechanical pencil to draw with today. And I'm just going to put this simple lighthouse in here. As you see in the photograph. I'm going to start working with mechanical pencils now. I think it makes it much easier than sharpening my other pencils. But I do like 2H. But I'm trying to play with more tools these days. And so I'm just drawing in the simple lighthouse, the windows. It's like three windows. You know, you really can't see if there's like a balcony, like if there's any railings on this thing. And then we've got the, the rocks. I'm just doing simple sketching and simple rock formations. You see here. The simple rocks comes down here. It's a little dark on the bottom. Woohoo! See this all these rock formations. Just kind of squiggle them in there, crisscrossing. And then there's a there's a little bit of grass coming here, and of course the greenery here coming through. 
back in here, down. You can see they got a tree back here. If you've never been to Newport, you should definitely go. Lots of history there. That's where Jackie O got married. Um, it's beautiful. It's great to go in the summer, but it's also very nice to go in the winter and the fall also. In the winter, and the, go check out the mansions they have. They decorate them for Christmas in the winter time. All the mansions. If you ever watch the show on HBO called The Gilded Age, they kind of show some of it because it was all built around the Gilded Age. They were the summer homes that are like mansions. Okay, so I just got the greenery kind of thrown in here. And a little bit more rock formations. And then we have the ocean, of course. Just doing some simple lines. You don't even have to pencil those in, but since I already penciled everything else in, let's just go for it. <laughs> we actually didn't walk over to this little lighthouse. I was too lazy that day because we had gone to the beach and I was tired. There's a little wave in here. Okay, so I've just penciled that in. And now I'm just going to mix up some paint. I'm going to use actually my, my, my 10. It's always good to use a big brush sometimes just to blob around the paper. I have a Prince and Neptune 10. I might actually use as a 12. Look how much bigger that is. It's kind of fun to blob around this color. And this is just a solid blue sky, but you can play around with that. I'm going to grab some ultramarine blue. You can have cobalt also. I could even mix in a little of this verde blue to make it more of a cobalt blue. See? I'm just going to water this down. Now, it's watercolor, but I wouldn't do super wet on wet on this, you know? Let's just wash in some of this color. It's a little darker than I wanted to put in. Let's see if we still like the sketchbook. Just washing in simple color. Going around. Well, actually, I can go right over that because I'm going to paint that in darker. I want to make it a little darker. Well, I want some more ultramarine blue. I realize I put too much water because, you know, it's a sketchbook. It's not going to be the best. And I probably, probably should have clamped it down on the edges so see how it's buckling up. Not the best idea. So I would clamp it. If you want to pretend those clouds, you can add some blues going this way. Don't forget, it's going to dry much lighter, too. All right, so far, it's not reacting badly. It's behaving. My issue with the first page was that over in this section, there was resist. So let's see how it goes. I'm going to use the same blue. Maybe add some verde blue in here. Too much excess water I'm going to tap off. Yeah, see? If my fingers are touching this paper... Let's see if it's standing the test here. I'm leaving some white in between here. I'm going to add a little Prussian blue, too. My ultramarine blue. Tap on the paper towel. Let's see. So far, I'm still not impressed. I felt like it was resisting over in here. If it's that delicate, if you touch it, well, heck, what good is that, right? A little wave. Get that wash of blue in here. See, it's resisting in this section. Now, this could be a, an error for the actual paper in the book. I'm going to fill this in. But I have a little problem, Mr. Speedwell. So I decided to leave the white out and just fill it in, and then I can go add in some deeper blues. I want to see if this thing is still resisting. Hmm. Not bad so far. Okay, add some more light over here. So let's let's go into the. We can do some greens behind the lighthouse. I usually add peacock blue, cabin yellow deep, 
nice green here. If you want to get a little darker, just take the same green and add some Prussian blue. You get a nice bluish green color. You can always add like a little red or brown, like I have burnt umber here, to dull it down a little bit if you didn't want it so on the blue side. I'm still using this 12. Make some more green. All right, might be too light, but we're gonna put some of this green in here. We mixed up, just loosely sticking it around. The green area, and then I'm gonna grab the darker green as well. Need a little more Prussian blue in here. It's a combination of different greens. So far, it's behaving. So maybe I did touch it too much on the first page. I thought I saw it resisting over in here, like the last one. Now, see, when you got a picture like this with your, if you're at the beach and you take some pictures of a lighthouse, you don't have to paint every detail. I'm just gonna go in here and add some of the greenery here. And you see, this is very light green compared to the picture. I'll stop putting in some darker tones. I always want to start a flight first though because you can't go backwards, especially with watercolor. And I like to bleed in a little color here. Add even more blue in here. Okay. Still using the 12 brush, the big brush. Now, the rocks, we're just going to start off and take neutral tint. It's a nice, pretty color. I might add a little brown to that just to dull it down a little bit. And there's some like browns in, in these rocks as well. So if you take just the burnt number and water that down, just the two colors. Just put a nice kind of wash of color in first. And then you can go back in and add. Some, oh, it's green in there. Well, look at that. Some other tones. That got a little dark. It's okay. Just going to put that light wash of gray in first. The rocks. And I'll wait till it dries and I'll come back in and I'll add some more of the rocks. So while that's drying, I'm going to get a little bit darker again. I'll go back into my little ocean <laughs> and I'll grab some Prussian blue, ultramarine blue, ultramarine and this uh, radiant blue. So you can take off some of the excess paint and I'll start doing the little lines that you see in the ocean. The ripples. There's like a big one here. Squint your eyes when you're looking at things like this. You can do bigger ones and just do a bunch of little ones too. Some areas seem like a one wash of color. Get even darker with just the Prussian blue. Right up in here. It's a mixture of the deep blues and the lighter ones. You don't go too crazy. And you see up in here all those little ripples. You can go nuts just trying to paint all that stuff. I don't think it's necessary. You just get the idea that it's there. You can make yourself a little crazy. Trying to paint all that. See, this really loose. If you want it skinnier, get a smaller brush. It's even nice just to do a nice wash of color. Whoosh, like that. There's some sections. Oh, I've got some green on my brush. My palette is a little messy. That's okay. Okay. 
I'm not following this photograph to a T. You just get the feeling of it. Get a little bit darker in here. Okay. Well, that's drying. We can go to the lighthouse. Now you see it's mostly white and a little shadow here of the gray and the black. And then it's brown. I just take a nice, I wouldn't necessarily just put gray down. It's kind of a blue gray. You can use ultramarine blue, maybe add a little note to tint. That's a nice color. And I'll water that down. And I always tap on the paper towel to take off the excess. Or you can just grab the neutral tint too. As you'll see, the more darker the contrast, the better. So, oops, that's still too wet. Did not want that. Okay. So just going out like this, going down the side, boom. Lighthouse. Not getting bogged down with details of the shadow. Leaving the rest completely white white. And in here it's like a you know tan, brown, and a little bit more burnt umber. You can use burnt sienna also. I'll have to go back over my my gray. I think this needed to be done first, but that's okay. Get that a little darker. I'll add a little neutral tint to this. So this will be a darker brown, and it's a little bit down here. So now the rocks should be fairly dry. We'll go back with our grays and our browns. We'll put another wash of color a little bit deeper. Just like that. Indicate the rocks. You don't get too crazy about the so many little boulders. Just indicate that it's rocks. I'll add a little brown to this. So it's nice to have like bigger rounded kind of shapes. And then a couple of little, you see me do, do some little marks. That's a little too brown. Blackish brown colors. He has a little bit darker especially in the bottom. So just a few of those little marks. And you see rocks. And then this one shows a lot of darkness on the bottom of the rocks. So I'm putting like a deeper gray, a little brown. You can see that and in here, some of the boulders. And this is going to get darker too. And you can see some of the green peeking through right in here. Now at this point I might grab a smaller brush. So I'll grab my eight round Princeton and I'm going to use the neutral tint color almost with the minimal water playing around with the railing part and where the light actually goes. It's almost like a black tone. A little blue in it. Ball. Boom. And you can see a little mark in here. Just like that. Nothing special. And this is dry. Still a little wet, but I'm going to go back in with my blue-gray color again. Make that shadow a little bit darker. Same thing down here. I'm just gonna go down here darker. Really want it to contrast. And it's a little bit dark in here too. Some browns. Now I'm gonna wait till this dries and then put in the dark window. put a little kind of lines going this way because it's it's like brick. 
But see how nice and dark that contrast is? I'm going to go back in here and just fill in some of the greens that we're missing. At this point, when the greens dry, you can add in a little variety too. Do you see like the little bushes? Some greenery out here. Kind of peeking through. Ooh, down in here. There's some much deeper, darker greens. Up over in here. You see, you squint your eyes, kind of throw in some of that. And little doodad mark. Doodads, I call them, but little marks. Kind of going this way. Oops, try not to hit that lighthouse, but I did. It's okay. I'll fix my mistake. Okay, I'm going to wait till that little hay house dries and put the windows in. By the way, if you realize, like I think I realize that maybe this is a little too dark, I can lift it up. Take a little piece of, piece of paper towel. Just go back over this again. Just lift up the color if it seems a little too dark. And tap it like that. And then it's not so dark. Right? And then we can go in with a deep dark color for the windows. Right? And fix up this little bit. Somehow that bled too. <laughs> it happens. And then in here, you just kind of enhance and just fix up all the little details you want. Like go back in and add some deeper blues. Again, with the small brush. See? I'm going to change it again. Just a simple little sketchbook. So I guess it got a reprieve. You know, I don't know how that happened, but it did. I thought for sure over here it was resisting. Resisting, resisting. So I'm just gonna go back in here, add my little lines. Yeah, it's a little resisty over here. Yep, right here. Mmm. Has it redeemed itself? In this section, I don't know if you can see it, but it's resisting some of the paint. So either I have a bad batch, or there's something up with this sketchbook. See, I'm going in and adding in all those little details. And I do want to put a little bit darker brown. A little reddish brown. in this section right here behind the rock. So it's going to be a shadow from the rock. Now it stands out much better. I'll just fix a few more doodads and I think we're done. Now if you messed up and you don't have any white spots, if you want to have some like, you know, white caps, just take some gouache and go in there and fix that. This is a little study in my sketchbook. I see all in here is kind of too much blue. You can just take, uh, grab some of my white gouache if I can find it. <laughs> on my desk. Oh, here you go. Hiding. Just a little bit. I don't think I need that much. Wet it down a little bit and you go back in and you can add kind of looks like a reflection of the it's not in the photograph but I can put it in see I put a reflection of the lighthouse and if you messed up anything in here you can kind of just go back in here add the white and that green got in there I'll just fix that so now you see the lighthouse That's all. A little tweaks to fix the things that you might have messed up. One a little, a little 
some tweaks. And that's it. And then some of these rocks have a little bit of whitish in part of them. You can kind of like take your brush loosely, go like this in some of the parts of the rocks. But really, you know, just go in and add the grays, the browns. Simple. So it kind of redeemed itself. I don't know, guys. What do you think? It's not so bad. It, I don't know if it's my favorite. I really don't. It's okay. Seem like this. What happens if, uh, if someone says to me before um, that the gouache kind of fades out too much? Less water again. I'm going back because he kind of faded in some of these parts. Really want it to stand out. And now it won't fade as much. It can. If it has a, too much water, it will fade. And there is my little... <laughs> this is my little... The little lighthouse in Newport. So yeah. Check it out. If you've never been there. I'm going to fill this in a little more. It's a lot of fun to go to that Castle Hilton and have a drink. And you see all the sailboats sailing by. It's great to take one of those little cruises. I really enjoyed it. I'm going to go fill this in. And there's my sketchbook entry for this one. Not too bad. I think the sketchbook kind of redeemed himself. We'll keep seeing as we go along. I don't know. So, simple photograph, right? Not much to write about. Um, I will be giving the Patreon members the reference photo to, to go by. Um, if, they, if you're a Patreon member, you can just download the photo. And just have pra practice in this little cute little lighthouse. Um, it's not the best photo because I took it with my phone, so you know, you're not going to have like this amazing detail. But, see I'm going back in here, tweaking some parts of the rocks. Making some of the rocks darker. Don't want to fuss too much. See the darkness on this one. And then over in here. There's a couple little dark marks. Okay. That's it for today. I hope you guys enjoy this little fun little quick tutorial and my review of this sketchbook again. Mm, the jig is still up on this. We'll see how it goes further down the line. <laughs> okay, guys. I hope you're enjoying your summer. Happy August 1st. And take care and I'll speak to you soon.